On today's Maker Mashup, quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to focus your diode laser down to a super fine point. So on today's Maker Mashup, we're gonna be focusing our diode laser module. Now this really applies to any diode laser module. However, in today's video, we're gonna be doing it on the L301. Now this is a Core XY laser engraver cutter that you can build yourself. And there's a card up at the top if you haven't seen that video, if you're interested in building one yourself. So there are a number of different ways that you can focus both the CO2 and a diode laser. This video is really only going to cover how we're gonna focus our diode laser to be able to use it for engraving or to use it for cutting. What I find as a real difficulty in trying to focus diode lasers is that depending on the material that you're focusing it on and the amount of light bleed that you get from a diode laser, it's very hard to see and be able to get a really fine focal point. Now, the reason is because of all that light bleed. What happens is when it hits a material, that light is then diffused through the material. So it makes using things like a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard very difficult. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is along with your safety glasses, we're gonna use this red filter that is gonna allow us to see a very, very fine point of our blue diode laser. So with all that said, let's get to work. Okay, so you can see here I've got my laser on and I have it at about 10% power. So it's a little bit stronger, but then it allows me to really get a good view as to where my focal point is. Now, as you can see here on the camera, and it, it's impossible for me to really see this except with the camera because the safety glasses I'm using completely block that nanometer of light. So I can't see anything on the black business card unless I'm looking at the uh, video camera here that is on the display. Now, as you can see here on the display, the bright blue light that you're seeing being emitted here is a lot of light bleed. Now, what I'm gonna do is put this filter in front of the camera here, and you'll be able to see the difference that this filter applies to what you're seeing. Okay, so now you see a very, very small point because we've got that light bleed reduced. Now this filter, if you turn it, there's a way to adjust the filter and apply more or less of the filter effect on here. And what it's doing is changing the wavelengths that are being filtered. Now you can see here, I've almost got that point to completely disappear. So before, and after. Now, because that is not a very focused point, it barely shows up on the camera here. So now what I'm gonna do is focus this. So just by adjusting this here and using the filter, you'll see the intensity of that spot increase so that way you can get it down to an extremely fine point. So now that this is down to a sharp point, I can see with my safety glasses, that is a very, very fine point. So by using both of these together and by adjusting the wavelength of the filter, you're able to get a finer point and be able to see where that fine point is without the light bleed. So as you can see, this filter really did a great job at reducing all of the light bleed and allowing us to get a much finer focal point on our laser than we did with our safety glasses alone. Now this filter is relatively inexpensive. I was able to get this off of Amazon for about $30. It's just a specific filter for video cameras or cameras. I got one of the larger ones that was relatively inexpensive and it is adjustable. So you can go all the way from a 530 where you can see it's slightly red uh, and you can see through it down to a 750 nanometer, which makes it fairly opaque. But when the laser is on, you can still see that light coming through from that focal point that really gives us the ability to get it to a sharp point. Now, since this is my new favorite way to focus my diode laser, what I'm probably going to do is build a little stand for this so that way I can keep my hands free. And I'll update the description below once I've got that model done. So along with links to the filter in the description, I'm also going to include links to those black business cards. They're very thin, they work really well. You can engrave them as well. 
Uh, and I'll be covering those in an upcoming video, but they work really well for reducing light bleed. And then with this filter, really giving you the ability to get down to that fine point. Now, I would love to hear your method for focusing your diode laser and how successful you are with it. Personally, I think this is a great way, but I'm always interested in new techniques. So if you have one, please let me know down in the comments. So with that, it's gonna bring the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like to help support the channel and get some cool merchandise like this, consider checking out our Patreon page. Patrons are able to participate in a loyalty reward program and get early access to a lot of content. So with all of that said, I want to say thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.